I didn't always believe this way, but I now have come to realize through my own life experience and the life experience of hundreds of thousands of students that I've worked with, I really believe that whatever challenge you're facing, learning is the way out. So let me give you some examples. You're going through depression, okay? You would think, what does learning have to do with depression? Well, it's about learning, first off, what are your options for treatment? Learning, what are the things you can do naturally to improve your health? Learning the mental skills, right? And, and of course, not all depression is, hey, just change your attitude. It isn't, but a lot of it is, right? And, and changing your attitude and mindset are going to help you get the help that you need if you need chemical help, if you need more exercise, more sleep. So it really is a matter of you can learn how to solve your problem. I used to have a lot of physical maladies, pain in my knees, pain in my shoulders, all kinds of weird stuff. And after I learned how to speed read and I learned about these memory techniques and learning techniques, I just read a ton of books, like scientific books, medical books. And I discovered that I'd been literally moving my knees wrong all my life. And I'd been doing the wrong exercises in the wrong way. Fix that. Boom. No more knee pain. You know, a, a couple of days ago, I squatted a hundred kilos three times. Uh, professionally, I think it goes without saying, right? Six years ago, I knew nothing about podcasting, online courses, writing books, marketing myself, public speaking. Today, I have, you know, top ranking products in every single one of those fields. And again and again, invariably what I do is I go, okay, I have a problem. I want to do X. What are the skills I need to do X? And I'll give you one more example, which I just think is fun because it isn't all about accomplishment or money or success. I was single, Tony, for nine years. And it was because I had limiting beliefs. I had some bad habits, bad behaviors. But for those nine years, I said, oh, I just haven't met the one. I just haven't met the one. And I, I remember telling friends and even telling you know, a, a coach that I was working with, like everything else in my life, the more effort I put in, I just get results. I learn, I change my behavior. But this, it seems like the more effort I put in, the further away it gets, right? You're trying too hard, you're getting desperate. But then I realized, what if I treated this not as this thing, this passive thing that like, I just have to wait when the time comes, it'll happen. I said, what if I treated this like every other problem I've ever solved in my life? And I said, what do I need to learn in order to fix this problem? Because I believe when you Every time you learn something, you kind of become a different person. It's like Alice in Wonderland. Like, I can't go back to yesterday because I was a different person then. And so I said, like, what do I need to learn? So I started reading books, going to lectures, talking to coaches and, and, and interviewing people. And I just did what we in the super learner methodology called brute force learning, like learning in every different angle from every different way. Instead of just focusing on one resource, I tried to learn as much as I could from as many different sources. Three months into changing my mindset about this from I just need to wait until I meet the one to I just need to learn what it is that a man in a healthy, happy, loving relationship knows I met my wife. We're now happily married and, and I'm in the healthiest relationship I can even imagine. And it, it literally came down to, and by the way, still comes down to, right? I think like in my vast experience of being married for only uh, seven months now, but what seems to work in my marriage is constantly learning and learning how to improve myself and learning how to communicate better. And it really is like, it just comes back. It's the only skill that matters. There are very few things you can't do. 